being at the top, the fear of failing is still like, no matter if I'm at the bottom or I'm at the top, I'm still gonna be fearful of failing. Like you have so many people, like how you said, you you tell your parents that you're gonna make a million dollars and you get to the top, you make a million dollars and then you fail. How do you fail? What's failing? What defines failure? You go broke. Going broke defines failure? No, that doesn't define failure. But what if you can't, like, provide for your family anymore? That's not failure. See, failure only occurs when one accepts that they're completed. Mm -hmm. If you keep getting back up, you didn't fail. You just learned another lesson. Mm. It's not failure. If I get punched in the face and I fall down, mm -hmm. there's a 10 count. And I choose whether or not I want to get back up or not. If I get back up and win the fight, I didn't lose the fight. I just got knocked down. Mm -hmm. Everybody thinks getting knocked down equates to failure. No, getting knocked down just teaches you a lesson. You got to get better. That's it. See, but in order to become the person who made a million dollars, you would have already, quote unquote, failed a million times. So for you to lose a million ain't going to be nothing. Like today, I say this all the time. I'm a six-figure person. I'm a six-figure earner. If I went broke today, mm -hmm. give me three months, I'll be exact where I'm at. The millionaire friends that I have say the same thing. If I went broke today, I'll be back in the million in a couple of years. Like it's nothing. Why? Well, because we've learned the disciplines and the habits it takes in order for us to get to that place. That doesn't mean that we've learned to avoid the tasks. We've actually learned to admire and welcome the tasks. Mm -hmm. Because we know that it gets us closer to our objective. Failure is subjective. Mm -hmm. You haven't failed until you've accepted that you've lost. If I can't provide for my family, that's temporary. And that might occur at some point in life. But guess what? If I'm a person who left from zero to point 100 and point zero is me not providing for my family, I was already there. Mm -hmm. So what is there to fear? That's always been my question. If you fear failure, let's say you made it to a million bucks, then you lose it all. Weren't you already a person who had zero? So what are you fearful of? You know exactly what it's like being at the bottom. What's wrong with going back to the bottom? Maybe maybe a lot of people haven't been to the bottom yet. No, everybody's at the bottom. What do you mean? Everybody's at the bottom. The point where you Define start the is bottom. the bottom. Whatever point where you're starting at is the bottom. If you're living in your mama's house, you're at the bottom. If you go homeless, you're at the bottom. You're a college student, broke, living in the dorm. People don't even realize that they're at the bottom without even knowing it. Bro, if you're a college student, you're in at least negative $20,000. You're below the bottom, bro. You're six feet under. You're dead, actually. You just don't know it. Because you're out here partying and you're in a fabricated lifestyle. Yeah. You got to wake up to reality and sit back and think, well, I'm actually in debt thirty thousand dollars to the u.s government i owe a big dog a lot of money bro you're below the bottom the bottom was when you were just your mama crib living for free you had zero dollars but you had zero debt too you were broken even mm -hmm. the second you got to college and you turned 18 all those debts added up mm -hmm. and you don't even know it you think working your little safe nine to five is not the bottom no that bro that is the bottom that is because you're running in place mm 